a miniature solar panel. And as you can see from the one that we already have made, uh, you can actually get a real voltage from our solar panel. Uh, it's not very high, so you'd have to connect a few things in order to power uh, even small objects, but it works. So the materials that we're going to need today are going to be our solar cell, some copper tape pieces to adhere our wires to our solar cell. We're going to be using two pieces of copper wires with alligator clips attached to the end. For these, we've cut them in half and stripped off the ends in order to be able to uh, attach them to our solar cell. We're also going to have a piece of sturdy foam board that doesn't bend easily. That's to protect the actual solar cell. And then to encapsulate it, we're going to be using a piece of lamination uh, once we have everything put together. So the first step in this is to prepare our wires. Uh, after we've stripped off the plastic insulation, you'll notice that the copper itself is not uh, connected very well. So in order to tighten that up, we're going to go ahead and pinch the end of the copper and then twist the actual cord and it'll give us a nice point which will be a lot easier to work with when we attach it to our solar cell. The solar cell itself, uh, the blue area is the active part of our solar cell. It's going to be absorbing light. So that's going to be face up when we make our solar cell. And the white strips on the side are the two contacts. If we attach the contacts on the same side, we would just short out the solar cell. So you'll notice that on the back side, there's uh, two more pieces of the white contact and we'll be attaching one wire to one contact on the back and the other wire to a contact on the front. And so the first thing that we want to do is attach our back wire. And so to do this, I'm going to peel off a piece of the copper tape and attach that to my wire first. And so uh, this can just be pretty gently done. And once we have that on the wire itself, it'll make it a little bit easier for us to attach it to the solar cell. And so on the back side, I'm going to be attaching my wire to the thinner contact. And I'm just going to take the copper tape and gently press my wire down onto the solar cell. You'll notice that I have a little bit of extra copper tape. I'm just going to tear that off and get rid of it. You don't want to fold it over to the front side of your solar cell, otherwise you'll cause a short circuit to happen. So I'm using my fingernail to press down and make sure that the copper tape is securely connected to that wire. Uh, if you don't have good connection between your wires and the solar cell, you'll notice a much smaller current in your solar cell. Now that I have the first contact attached I'm going to go ahead and attach the second contact. And you'll notice that I put my solar cell on the foam board, but I've left the wire slightly off to allow the solar cell to lay flat. And this will help when I'm attaching the second wire so that it uh, doesn't cause the solar cell to bend and break. Uh, these solar cells are very, very fragile and it doesn't take a lot of pressure in order to break them at all. So now I'm going to do the same procedure of taking the copper tape and attaching it first to my wire. Now I'm going to bring the wire over and attach it to the larger contact on the front of the solar cell. And so the same thing here, you're going to use your fingernail to make sure that it's connected well to the tape. And at this point, we can go ahead and attach our solar cell to our voltmeter.
And if we put it in the light, we should be able to measure a voltage uh, from our solar cell. If we switch to measuring current, you'll see that I have a pretty high current uh, with the solar cell, which means I have good contact between my wires and the solar cell. So now I'm ready to go ahead and laminate the solar cell. I'm going to just position it onto the foam board and then peel off my laminate. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to tear a small section of the backing to remove the lamination. And so you want to gently press it down over the solar cell so that you don't break it by accident. And any excess can just be folded over the edge of the solar cell or trimmed off if it doesn't fold well. And there you have your solar cell. The second method we're going to do today is to try to get a higher voltage from our solar cell. And we're going to use three smaller solar cells and we're going to attach them in uh, series in order to try to increase the voltage that we're using. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and try to attach these solar cells together. And so I'm going to do this directly on the foam board. And I'm going to attach front to back in order to attach them in series. And so I think it's easiest to start with the what will be the middle solar cell. And I'm going to flip it over, and this white strip in the center is the contact that I'll be attaching my tape to. And so Gently going to press the tape on and use the back of my nail to make sure that there's good contact between the tape and the solar cell. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put a small twist in the tape so that I can attach it to the front of my other solar cell. I've twisted the tape over so that we can go ahead and attach it to the front of our second solar cell. And I'm going to gently press and smooth to make sure we have good contact to the front. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and attach the wire uh, to the back. You want to be careful when you flip these over. Uh, in order to do this. So I'm going to take the copper piece of tape and attach it directly to the end of one of my wires. And then I'm going to go for the same contact on the back side of the solar cell. And it's okay to have some of the tape hanging off as long as you don't attach it to the front. So at this point, I can flip these two solar cells over, and I now have two solar cells uh, connected to one wire. So I'm going to do uh, the addition of the third solar cell now by first attaching the back to the copper tape, twisting the copper tape over, and attaching it to the front part of the metal solars. So you're going to make sure that you don't overlap any of the copper tape and short circuit your solar cells. But now I have the three solar cells connected together and I'm just going to attach my last wire to the front of the final solar cell. So 
So copper tape directly onto the wire. And this will just uh, allow you a little bit more maneuverability of the wire and make it slightly easier to attach. So make sure you have good contact down. And now we can go ahead and test our solar cells. So you'll see we went from about 0 0.5 volts to 1.5 volts, uh, which is pretty good for adding those three in solar uh, in series. Uh, you'll also notice that the current is pretty low, and that's due to the fact that the copper tape isn't the best at conducting between the solar cells. So once we are happy with the performance of our solar panel, we can go ahead and cement everything down with the lamination paper. So just peel off the backing and gently place this over the solar panels. And this will help hold all the wires in the proper position um, and make it a little bit more portable. Right. So once you trim the edges, you now have two different types of functioning solar panels uh, that you can go ahead and test with different LEDs or uh, different motors to see if you can get them to power any of your equipment.